Yeah, let's get into my NBA debut, y'all. It's our podcast, King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. You guys already know what it is, man. This is my small forward. First game in the NBA. Basically, this video is a compilation up to me, you know, becoming an athletic small forward. Basically, to tell you the truth. Oh, check out that still. We out. Let's go. First, Yo, my first play of the game is an alley-oop. That's what I'm doing? I'm throwing alley-oop for my first time around? I just come in acting like I already know what I need to do to win games. But basically, uh, the way I started my mock player, I'm a scoring small forward, of course. I didn't even have a rim grazer dunk package, to tell you the truth. I was ass at getting to the rim. But, you know, all these videos that I'm putting out is going to be leading up to that great moment. You know, the moment where everything just counts. Now, check this out. Nice little in and out. Thanks for the little uh, moving screen, Blatch. I like that a lot. <laughs> but uh, let's get into this last play before the press conference, man. I just wanted to show you guys a few clips of this game right here. Check out how I get loose with dude. Check this out. Uh. Oh, step back. Whew. Goodness gracious. Good Lord. Put a hand in my face, please. With your first ever NBA game behind you, what does the future hold for you in this league? What does my future hold? I'll give you a few possibilities. Uh, multiple MVPs, multiple all-star games, multiple rings, and a whole bunch of all-time records when all is said and done. I expect to be in the Hall of Fame one day. In fact, I'm already thinking about what my election speech will sound like. One day, baby. You'll all see it. I got a long career ahead of me first, though, so just be patient. That was a heck of a nice answer for my first NBA debut. Now, the game that a lot of people probably want to see, me against Miami Heat. Check out that still. Let's go. We're out again. Once again, hold up. Another oop, man. You know I love to throw the oops. I don't care about the bad pass. I don't care about the assist. I got to make sure that I let JaVel McGee get his. That's all that matters. As long as that man gets two points and we on a comeback, that's all that matters, man. But basically, I had a lot of fun playing this game. I, I was going up against LeBron. I was going up against D-Wade. I was feeling kind of good, you know? But check this out. We out. You know, I'm on a break. And this is the nice little rim grazer package, y'all. Let's get in the halftime one. Take on the magic. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. You give them an opening like that one, we'll take Sunday hoops seems like a perfect way to start the week. Welcome to your HP halftime report. Miami up on top against Washington. In this young NBA season, they're looking to get over 500 and a win tonight would do it. Dwayne Wade has been unreal in the first half. He has 20 points, and he's stacking up the assist, too, keeping the defense off balance with his passing. And the Wizards have been plugging away. They've been aggressively attacking the rack, getting a lot of points right at the rim. John Wall is off to a good start. He has 12 points and a terrific field goal percentage, getting his points with limited attempts. A look now at the two guys who put up some good numbers so far in tonight's outing. Around the league we go, scores and stories. I love filling stat sheets, y'all. That's what I like doing as a my player. The small forward, I'm able to grab rebounds. I'm able to grab assists. I'm even able to make LeBron look like an asshole. Shooters roll, baby. Let's get into the post-conference, y'all. You are picking pockets left and right in tonight's game, setting your career high in steals. Were you specifically focused on getting as many steals as you could? I like to try to make my mark each game on both sides of the ball, but it's fair to say that I've been making defense a priority lately, and this game showed the result of my hard work. I want to make sure my opponent is well aware that they better protect the ball or it's going to be mine. As you saw tonight, I took advantage every chance I had. Sometimes, man, I think my small forward got a mind of his own, yo. <laughs> I be thinking sometimes we're going to answer with a little bit of arrogance or a lot of respect. He just answers the way he wants to, man. But basically, this game right here, you already see the teams. It's me against Chicago, man. Nice little matchup between me and Luau. So you already know what I had to do. Play hard defense and get a nice fast break. That's the easiest thing for me to do as a small forward, man. Run on the break. As long as I, I really play my role as a wingman, 
I can do anything at the small forward position. Anything. Now, as you can see, I'm subbed in that power forward, right? So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take advantage. Why not? Why not take advantage of going up at the power forward position? The AI, it slows down at the power forward position. It doesn't matter who plays power forward. For some reason, they just, I don't know, man. In the beginning stage in the, of this small forward, everybody was playing me like I was sweet. Look at the defense and how they're playing on me. It's like they don't want to play. But check this out. Uh, shimmy, shimmy. <sighs> Come on, man. Yo, I don't know if I look like Kobe. I don't know if I look like Jordan. I don't know, but that post game is is crazy. I'm telling you, I'm a. I said I wasn't gonna be doing a lot of post game on this uh my player, but you know when it's all said and done, you know when the wearing time is coming down. Oh, then it's great. Slam cam. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. The post up game is all of that. I, yo, for some reason, I thought that my guy wasn't that good at the post game. I thought he was just going to be like a pure shooter, one of the wingmen, and, you know, run to the three-point line real fast for quick points. But it seems like I have the complete package, you know. I don't know. Now, check this out, right? I'm going to play, play a little bit of defense real fast, you know, do the double team thing. You know, play a little bit of hard defense. You know, John Wall, he ate that. So guess what I do? I do what I'm assigned to do. Run on a fast break and shoot the three. If you're not going to step up, you're going to be mad. But basically, let's get into this nice little press conference, man. Uh, this game was very hard on my heart. <laughs> Not a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided as this one? Well, for one thing, we didn't give up. I thought that even when we were down by a lot, every player out there on the court was still giving everything they had. Some games, the ball just doesn't bounce your way. But that's never an excuse to mail it in. And I really don't think we did that at all tonight which is definitely something to be proud of. If we keep giving that kind of effort, we'll win our share of games. Tonight just wasn't one of them. Now, even though that answer gave me low league popularity and fan popularity, I felt like I was doing my team justice. But in this game versus the Kings, look at my performance. Now, more and more, I was getting my dunk up. You know, I may not be that fast, but as long as I can get up in the air with a nice vertical and a nice dunk rating and a nice shooting traffic rating, I can make things happen constantly. Now, check it out. It's second quarter. I already have 21 points. Already 21 points. So that means that I was doing very good against the Kings. I even had to make my, my young boy Tyreek Evans, you know, feel a little bit of pressure. What's up, Tyreek? You feeling good? You chilling? Let's get into the halftime. Pavilion, you're watching 2K Sports. Your team, 56. The Wizards, 57. It's a Wednesday night edition of the HP Halftime Report. Let's get to the breakdown. A tightly contested game for the Wizards up against the Sacramento Kings. They've had some uneven play to start the season, but are still working to add to that win column. A nice contribution by Andre Blatch, giving them a lift. After two, he's got six points, also has come away with nine rebounds. On the other hand, Sacramento also giving it their best. They're stroking it from outside, hitting the three ball with ease. Marcus Thornton with some valuable contributions. He's racked up 20 points. He's been on target from everywhere, hitting his deep shots and picking up all his change on the free throw line. The two players who've had an easy time finishing off around the rim, here are your leading scorers. We already got a few games gone final. Check them out from around the league. Now, as you can see from the halftime show, I was doing very, very good at the game. Now, check out the defense that we were putting on. We were actually playing great defense. We were holding the lead. We were trying our best from keeping them com from coming back. And it seems like, you know, I had Garcia on me the whole game. You know, the guy is kind of old, so, you know, I don't I don't take too much praise. Now, if I would have scored as many points as I did on somebody like LeBron, I would have been happy. But check out this steal. It's, it's just was that easy all game long. Now, one thing that I will say, the more and more that I scored, the more that they took me out. You know, I'm, I wasn't currently a starter yet. 
So, you know, the more that I scored, the more that they, they wasn't feeling me, you know, taking over the game. But check out as I just keep stealing the ball. It's like they just didn't want the ball at all. I was doing very well. Now, this right here was a breakout game. I think I, in this game, I went from averaging about 24 minutes to about 30. Even though I was still the sixth man, I was still averaging a lot of minutes. So, you know, I felt kind of good. Now, as you can see, they, they took me out the game, you know. They didn't let me play the fourth quarter. I'm not going to lie about that. But I did watch how they just deliberately let the Kings come back. Now, if you notice... Almost six minutes has passed. They haven't scored a point while the Kings themselves are starting to climb the scoreboard. All right. Now, just check this out. This is my mistake. It might have been my, my mistake, but just check what happens. I press X, right? And we lose the game by 10 points. How? How do you lose a game by 10 points when you were up 10 points? That's what happens when you do not let the player that was putting points on the board back in the game. That was the coach's mistake, the the GM's mistake. Somebody should have made a call to the coach and said, put Carter in. Let's get to the press conference, y'all. I got something y'all want to see. You did everything you could to keep your team in the game, but it wasn't enough. What are you able to take from a good performance like that, knowing that it came in a loss? Hey, man, I did my share. If my teammates can't keep up their end of the bargain, there's not much I can do about that. As long as my stats are looking good at that final buzzer, then as far as I'm concerned, it's a job well done. I'll just do it again next time out, and we'll see if my supporting cast can do enough to put us over the top. You feel me? Yes, you know what that means, you guys. I finally got my dunk up. I'm finally an athletic dunker, so that means I can shoot. I can post up. I can dunk. I can dribble. I can do everything at a low rating and still feel premier. Now, the one thing is, once I start becoming more popular in the league, eyes will be on me. People will stop sagging off me. And, you know, the competition will get tough. But this is IKC signing out. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for the next video in this series. It's going to be one you won't want to miss.